Have you felt like you're totally lost in life? Because no matter how hard you study, how hard you work, and try to save money, but somehow it's not enough. You work so hard at something and you receive some money, but somehow all the money you have in your bank account is gone somewhere. Here comes a very interesting question. Why do people feel unhappy with money, whether they're struggling with money or they're already super rich? It's because their attitude with money is not the happy one. Money is such an intangible thing. When you think you got it, then it slips through. Even though your salary goes up, your expenses also go up. So no matter how hard you work and how much you save, somehow money disappears like magic. It's because we are forced to play a game called money game. Playing the money game is like playing Monopoly, but in real world, money game rule changes so fast. So in 1990s, real estate was good, but after 10 years, investing in real estate was bad. And then investing in stock market was good one time, and then it's bad the other time. So money rules keep changing. So that's what troubles people. Because a certain thing that people think it, it works doesn't work after three years. So unless you keep up with the rules of money game, you'll be lost. In my newest book, True Wealth, I talk about the subject in a little more detail. I talk about how to transform fear into excitement. Even after you grow up, even how hard you work, you're not really sure if you can win the money game because the mortgage is higher, the student loans and expenses are going high, and it's almost impossible to get a house for younger people especially. You're told to study harder and by your parents, get a good job. So the rule you learn is study hard and work hard. But can you win this money game? Because there are people who don't seem to work hard, they seem to be getting more money than you. And there are those who are not so smart, they seem to be getting more money than you too. So if working harder is not the answer, what is the answer? The key is to understand how money works, and at the same time, on the emotional side, you understand how money works against you. The reason why we have this scarcity mentality that there's not enough all the time is that because we had what's called money wounds. When we we're small, we wanted to have something for a birthday, but not all the time we got what we really wanted. So throughout our childhood, there were so many disappointments, shame and guilt and we've been scolded by our parents for not doing right things with money. Sometimes we've been scolded for wasting too much, for not saving, for not doing things right. So we had so many experiences in our childhood that influence our life till we're 30, 40, 50, 60. I met a man who was talking about his childhood pain and he is in his 70s and he has uh, grand grandkids, but still he's in pain. So unless you heal your past wounds from a childhood, you cannot reconcile with money. You cannot find peace with money. That's why I teach money EQ. Money wounds make us compare ourselves with others. Especially we are in the age of social media. So when some, some of the feeds come through your iPhone, you feel depressed because your friends are having a better vacation, better cars, better houses, and all of those make you feel depressed. So if you compare yourself with others, that is a shortcut to unhappiness. Instead of just comparing yourself with others, just you need to know when is enough, how much is enough how to satisfy with yourself with what you receive. Otherwise, you are in this hell of wanting more, doing more, making more, and spending more. Instead of going to that direction, you have to go inward to find peace within you. In life, there are two important factors, going after what you want and also enjoying what we got. Unless we have both, we cannot feel 100% content. 
I have met many millionaires and billionaires in my life. Even though they have millions and billions, they always want more. They are almost addicted to having more, doing more, and getting more. So I'm not saying that you should be satisfied with where you are and do nothing. I'm just saying, first, you can find contentment with where you are and you can be open to receive more. There is a word money can buy happiness. There is some truth in there too. Money can make your life easier. Instead of hitchhiking, if you have a car, you can go to the destination right away. So money can do wonders for you, but money cannot buy you happiness exactly. If it's not money, where does true joy come from? The true joy comes from within. So the feeling that your life is beautiful, feeling that you're doing the right thing, feeling that you're on the right track. So if you have this contentment in you, you don't have to worry about money. You can enjoy with what you have. So find what brings you joy and then feel 100% content with what you receive. This is what I call millionaire mentality. One of my mentors had this millionaire mentality, my mentor Wahed Takeda, who used to say, I'm so wealthy, I have more than enough, with a big smile on his face. If you want to learn more wisdom of Wahed Takeda, my mentor, please check this video right here.